Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress. I'm just sorry, I just thought I thought this yellow guy was legendary. I just thought I thought I saw him glow, but he was not glowing. Uh yeah, this is Dwarf Fortress, 44.03, I think. Um, so last time, where were we? What were we doing last time? Well, actually, let's start with a little matter of uh business. I have another uh commenter requesting a dwarf named after them. So, um, let's see. Uh do we just go down the list here? I guess so. Why not? Um, why don't, uh, I think, I yeah, our legendary miner. Why not? Let's make you um, view unit. I've actually never, have I ever renamed anyone using this functionality? Customize nickname. This is going to be, uh, actually, who is this going to be? Right. Mr. Unlikely. Boom. There you are, Mr. Unlikely. Let's take a look at your dwarf. You feel satisfied at work? You, at work, you were uh, feeling lonely after being away from family. Let's see. You are romantically involved. Ooh, with golden ink stones. Uh, and you are a casual worshiper of Osed. Uh, let's see. What's your? What are your uh, life goals? You dream of mastering a skill, and that dream was realized because you were a legendary miner. Wow, you are, you are totally satisfied in life. You value romance, and you are in a romance. You see no value in holding back complaints and concealing emotions, and you don't care about nature one way or the other. Well, cool. Looks like you're a pretty happy dwarf. Congratulations, Mr. Unlikely. All right, and now we know who our legendary miner is at a glance. I don't have to remember these confusing dwarf names, so uh, remember, if you want to help me out in that area, just uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, we're getting some more room for more workspaces. Uh, we are going to set, um, actually, I think Mr. Unlikely actually suggested that I build another, I think it was Mr. Unlikely, suggested I build, build another, um, gem, uh, workshop. And I was planning on doing that, but I, we just need a little more room. Because this one we have reserved for our legendary jeweler. Who is, it was As Ashtesh. He wants to say Ashtesh, but it's Ashtesh. Um... Actually, I think we have a little... Ah, we'll wait till, till this miner's done mining out. But, um... All right, we're, we're finishing a lot of doors here, a lot of pots. Uh, we can place those. We can place all this stuff. We can make some more doors. Boom. Yeah, these are pretty nice doors. All right, so these rows all have doors. Beds... Ooh, apricot, custard apple wood. That sounds fancy. Uh, you have bed, you have a bed, you have a bed, and this row all has beds. Put one here. We're almost, we're getting, we're getting close to filling out the rooms that we've carved out already. Let's do some containers. Oh, and this reminds me, actually, let's, uh, that's fine. Uh, I'll take the, I won't put down the star ones quite yet, because I think one issue I realized in our um, in our inn, in the intense cakes, is that we need coffers there to store the mugs. I think that was an issue. Um, let's put this limestone coffer in here. And cabinets. We can put cabinets down. Any, anywhere. I don't care. I mean, in any bedroom, we get, we can put we can put these down freely. We're not saving any of these. We have a lot of cabinets. Um, we might as well put some cabinets in here. Actually, uh, let's put a cabinet like over here. Oh yeah, master. These are both nice cabinets, so that works out. Cool. Very nice. Uh, and all are all these set for bedrooms? I don't. Um, I bet a lot of them are, but I bet some, yeah, some are definitely not. Uh, up here, everything looks okay. Down here, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, we'll wait till you have doors, I guess. I think we have plenty of bedrooms now for everyone. Great. This dining room is going to look really nice once it's all smooth. It is a lot of smoothing, for sure. 
Um, and we are getting... We have some charcoal here. Uh, and we need to find more coal. We, we set out some... Uh, to mine some exploratory veins. And hopefully that will work out for us. We're not digging deeper yet. I think I would like a mil a something of a military before we do that. Speaking of, we set up a little uh, training area here, but we don't really have weapons uh, other than some crossbows, and it would be really great to get some weapons. Uh, and I was thinking, can we can we just get some some clubs in the mason's workshop? Is that a thing? Weapon rack, uh, the craft dwarf shop, uh, rock. Sword, short, sword, short sword, short sword, um, but no, no clubs. That's not, whoops, that's not a thing. Um, wax crafts, ba boom, whoops. Uh, yeah, no, nothing here. Uh, but maybe if we build a weapon shop, maybe we don't need to make them out of metal. We just need the weapon shop. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, I wanna put weapon shop stuff down this area. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Um, and actually, let's let's set this at a little bit higher priority. Cool. So they should dig that out. Uh, whoops, I have a pause. They should dig that out. How are we doing up here? We have some more room for workshops. We have a bowery with no one really to work it. Uh, I don't think we care about making cross more crossbows right now. Although, how many do we have? Let's check our stocks. How many crossbows do we have? Um, is that going to be under weapons? Weapons. Yeah, we, we have too many. Uh, and actually, someone else suggested that we look at our noble screen, go to our manager, and wait. S settings. Uh, one of these has settings. There, the bookkeeper has settings. Right. Oh my gosh. Now, yeah. So uh, that was what the commenter suggested. And um, actually, hold on. I can. It was uh, ale for seventy-two. Um, I totally forgot that. Like the screen looks really familiar now, and I forgot that this existed. We want the precision at all counts accurate. So now our bookkeeper, Godin, who is in a romantic relationship with. Um, with um, Mr. Unlikely, <coughs> excuse me, will, uh, that cough was not like a funny cough. That was a legitimate cough. <laughs> um, I, uh, yeah, so now Godin should spend all of her time doing that kind of bookkeeping until the precision is totally precise. I, I can't believe I totally forgot to do that. That is an important part of Dwarf Fortress that I totally forgot about, but an easy thing to overlook if you don't know how to play. So thank you, um, Ale for 72 that was very useful advice. I totally forgot about that screen. When you said to look at that screen, I thought it was, I thought you were talking about something else, but yes, yes, very important. Um, okay. Akia stole a crossbow, no! Where, what, where? Where was that? Uh, can we look at where that was? Zoom to location. Oh, so that's where you left the map. Why do we... Oh, you know what? I bet we had a bunch of crossbows outside from when our dwarves died. Like, just right out here. Yeah. That stinks. That definitely stinks. Man, we really have a Kia problem. We really need to hunt them, I think. Can we do that? Can we just set Kias to be hunted? Um... Oh, wait. We can actually... We can already look at... All I had to do was that. Now we can see everything. Okay, great, great. All right, so we have a ton of weapons. Where did we get all these weapons? That's a ridiculous amount of weapons that I did not bring with us. Um, I'm guessing some were brought by migrants and maybe some some must have been brought by the, the people in the inn, but can we use these? Can we use all of these? Maybe only nine of them are ones that we can t uh, tap. Okay, yeah. We can only use these. So we have three, four picks, three axes, two crossbows now. All of the red ones we cannot use. That's what the red ones are. All right, all right. Oh, and there's that, that uh, legendary weapon rack that someone brought. So we have two crossbows. Well, 
Uh, and what about ammo? Yeah, we do not have... Let's unforbid this ammo. We have some ammo. We definitely have some. Um, so let's look at our military uh, squad, our granite robustness here. I, I guess I'll leave Astesh in it, but... Um, and do some... You know what? I think you're too important as a gem cutter now. I'm going to take you out of it. Uh, I can put someone else in. Does anyone else have any kind of archery skill? That was asked, Josh. Uh, Arush, our trader. Uh, Arush might be important too, but I will, if no one else has skill, I will have Arush do it. Yeah. All right, Arush. Um, and then equip. Individual choice ranged. Um, individual choice ranged. So you should get... You should take that other crossbow. And then, let's make sure that Erush is set to hunt. So, uh, hold on. I'm going to pause it here. Let's go to a dwarf therapist. And I know you can see it, but where is it on my... There it is. Um, and Erush, can you hunt? No. Whoops. Um, let us do that. You can now... You will now do hunting. Thicka does hunting. You know what? All right. If Thicket does hunting, I'm going to not change anything. And Thicket, even though I guess you don't have any skill right now, um, let's change let's change that for you. Um, let's put you in the military. Get rid of Erush. Put in Thicket. Thicut. Thicut. Wait, where are you? Where's Thicut? Did I miss you? Oh, you're the military... Ah, oh, you're the military commander. I'm an idiot. Um, right. So I think Astesh is still set on hunting. Let's let's change that. All right, hold on. Uh, back to Dwarf Therapist. All right, so Erush, I am going to set you to hunt, but... And Thikut will hunt, but Astesh will no longer hunt. I'll still have you do some care and training, um, and that'll be good. All right, commit. Do we have a bowyer now? Does anyone do? Yes. Uh, Reg, Reg is doing bowyering, and so is Toulon. Okay, cool. Um, back to it. Great. All right, so now we should have a couple of hunters, and those hunters should be training. Let's actually look at the training schedule, too. We don't want them training all of the time. Um, schedule. Yeah, let's, um, let's only have you train every other month. Um, what is it? How do I... Oh, there we go. You. Wait. Oh, yeah. Un uniformed when you're inactive. Fine. But that's not what I meant. I meant... Oh, oh, oh. How do I toggle this? Give order, cancel order, copy orders, paste... Sleep in room, will name... What is wrong with me? How do I change it from training? Cancel order? Ah, okay. There we go. And then... The Geared Oaks doesn't have anyone in it yet, but we'll stagger your schedule. What's the other stuff that we can have you do? Give order. Oh, defend Burrow. Okay, it's fine. Done. Hooray. Okay. All right, crops are... Ooh, a human caravan has arrived. All right, we'll trade with the humans. Um, should we bring stuff up? Yeah, we might as well start bringing stuff up. So let's... um. Let's move some goods. Let's move our uh, crafts, which would be in um, down here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, let's bring the gems. Now, we can sell these guys bins of things. They don't care about wood. Um, we can bring you the instrument bins. We can sell you some instruments. We could sell you some of our nicer tools for sure. Um, we have a lot of tools. Why do we have so many wheel... I guess wheelbarrows are important. We'll sell you some of the nicer ones, sure. I don't think we'll need all that money. And goblets. Um, we'll keep some goblets, but let's... Oh, whoops. Let's bring you just three, because I think we, we definitely want to save some goblets for ourselves. Um, buckets. Um, okay. Anything else? Blocks. We got the gems coming. Wait. 
Oh, I guess this... We'll just bring that whole bin. I think it has a lot of stuff in it. Um, anything else we're bringing? Oh, we could actually bring some drinks and stuff. Not a terrible idea, but let's save our food. We have a lot of dwarves. And a lot of guests. Fish pots. Meat barrels. Okay. I think that's good. Bring that stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's get the trader in there. Okay. Uh, so farms are looking good. Uh, food and drink stores are looking good. Do meals count as other? Because we don't have a whole lot of meat and fish. Um, do we have meals? Let's take a look. Now that we have accurate stocks, um, is it meals? Meat. Prepared meat. But what about, does that count as meals? I don't think so. Food. What about P? Prepared meal? Prepared meal, 75. Is that what we have it set to? I guess that's fine. Uh, I guess. Uh, meals. Yeah, you... 10 out of 10. Um, right. We said if you have less than 50, make 10 more. And we have more than that. You know what? Let's uh, let's change this to 90. So we always have 100. We try to stay around 100. Let's te let's stay between 95 and 105. How about that? Boom. Cool. I like it. And actually, we haven't checked our uh, kitchen stocks in a while. Are there any other kinds of foods that we want to make sure we are keeping the seeds for? Make sure that we're not um, that we're brewing instead of cooking. Uh, this looks okay. Seeds. Don't cook. Uh, don't cook um, these seeds. Hazelnuts, we have tons of. Walnuts, we have a ton of. That's fine. Um, do not cook with any of this stuff. No drink. No drinks. We have a pretty nice variety of drinks now. That's pretty nice. And yeah, we can cook. Oh, tallow. Oh, you know what? Maybe we don't cook tallow. Because I think tallow you can make into other stuff, right? I don't... Can't you make tallow into... Can't you render that into something else, like soap? We'll want soap soon. Um, what kind of workshop is that? Soap maker's workshop. We might do that closer to, like, where the tannery is. Because it is animal fat you make that stuff out of. Not tan the tannery. All this stuff. The, um, like, yeah, all this stuff down here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a um, put a soap workshop down here. Workshop. Soap maker's workshop. Right there. Um, yep, you need a bucket. That's fine. We should actually put in a job to do more buckets. In fact, let me do that. Because buckets are important. Oh, whoop, I hit A. I hope that didn't do anything. Uh, Q, new order. Uh, bucket. And uh, rock bucket. No stone bucket. No, it has to be wood. Another another important use for wood. Um, so let's say... Now this is... Yeah, so make five whenever the conditions need to be met. So um, conditions, R and P, number of logs needs to be at least five. And whenever we have less than... Whenever we have five or less buckets, make five. That way we always have around 10. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Or we, we have between five and 10. I think that'll be fine. Okay. Okay, and uh, we're going to have to make this kitchen bigger at this point. So um, I think we're going to leave a little area here. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, space, space, one, two, three, four, five, space. Yeah. Is that lined up? Okay. That is, wait, this is wrong. <laughs> Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, 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 right. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We can get rid of the bottom three. I don't know what I was doing. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, looks good. Do that. And we'll leave a little column in the middle for decoration for theoretical support for the room, even though you know, it doesn't really need it. Okay, because we definitely will need more stills and kitchens and stuff. Uh, let, so let's keep, um, let's make a little stockpile around that soap workshop. Um, yeah, I'll change, I'll change this in a second. Q, change settings. We are just going to want animal fat and stuff like that. Is that here? Item type. Um, body parts, does that count? I am not sure. Um, page down. I want like tallow and stuff. Tanned hides. Yeah, not seeing anything like that. Remains? Could be remains. But you know, all that stuff might be just kept in the refuse pile, which is which is still nearby here. So disable. Um, disable. Maybe we won't actually keep anything in here. Uh, if there is something I should be keeping by here, let me know. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the stockpile. Actually, how do I, how do I get rid of you? It's Q, right? Q. No. Can't get P to remove designation. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. The miners are working on this. Um, what? I just jumped. It just jumped there for some reason. Why? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know why. That was weird. Maybe it didn't. All right. Merchants have arrived. Are unloading their goods. What is that dwarf doing with the question mark? Why was that dwarf confused? Um, all right. That stuff is not being mined out anymore. The exploratory stuff has started being mined a little bit. We made a masterpiece bed. That's lovely. Um, so now that they're unloading their goods, can I trade with them yet? I can. Okay. Um, what do you have that we might want? This is what we have. So we could sell you a bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, but yeah, let's see what you have first. You have some bars. You know, at this point, just to get the ball rolling, maybe let's get some metal bars. Trifle pewter. Sure. That we can make stuff out of. Glass we don't quite need yet. Um... Yeah, you know what? Let's get some gems that we can cut. Why not? We have a master gem cutter. Bronze. The gold's a little expensive. Graphite, fire. We don't need clay. I mean, it could. It's really cheap. Um, ropes. You know what? Let's take some ropes. We could always use ropes. Ropes are good. We're not making any of our own right now, so let's get some cheap ropes. I think we're going to sell you a bunch of stuff, so that'll be fine. Um, water skins. Ah, water skins, huh? We're not making any water skins right now, so do it. Stumba what? What is this? Uh, view good. Stumeb. That must be some kind of instrument, I guess. Igua? Igua. Oh, that's a weapon. Urgh, that's a nice weapon. That is a nice weapon. Do we just take your nice weapon? It's expensive. Not take, but buy. Uh, we have some animals, too. A male cat. I think we already have a male cat. I don't think we need you. Re reindeer cow. Yeah, I don't think any really interesting... If you had a, a, a male dog, I think we'd be interested. Barrels, buckets. Um, picks. Training axe. Silver flail. That's not bad. I'll take you. Um, an iron short sword. Okay. I'll take you. Bronze pick. Silver halberd. Too expensive. Copper battle axe. Copper's not good enough. Bronze whip. Interesting. We could have someone use a whip. That might be fun. Nah. We have the flail. That's already a non-dwarven weapon. Um, do we need another pick? I don't think so. Not right now. Uh, and then you have some, uh, some armor, large bronze breastplate. The stuff is expensive, but 
high boots. Oh, they're large. That means we can't use them. Right. We can't use them. Um, copper buckler. Uh, some leather bag. Sure, I'll take some bags. Oh, no, that bag's expensive. Um, chests. That bag's expensive. Seeds! Um, what is this? Fisher berry seed. Sure. Uh, barley seeds. I think we have barley, but it's cheap. Um, sandbags. We don't need sand. We need bags to put sand in. Cheap bags. Oh, that's a sandbag. These are all sandbags. Um, cloth bin. We could always use bins and cloth. You know what? Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. We already have a big loss here. What are we going to sell you? Let's just sell you a few finished bins of stuff. Like these mugs and some nabreths in there as well. That's a lot. Oh, yeah. Now you're making a huge profit. Okay. All right. Let's take that cloth bin. Um, sure. Let's take a couple. Because you're making good profit. Arrows. Bronze air. Oh, bro bolts is what we need. Bronze bolts. All of them. We need bolts. Uh, you have a lot of stuff. We have meat. I think we're... You know what? I'll take meat. I'll do it. It's cheap. And we can make meals out of it. That way we don't have to hunt. Albatross intestine. Um, and fish. I don't think we're really in any danger. Oh, and this stuff is good because we can later, um, if there's anything that we don't have, we can grow it later with the seeds. Okay. Quivers. Quivers are important as well. Cheap quivers are fine. Backpacks. I'll get a couple of backpacks. Oh, and thread. Yeah, we don't have any thread. Okay. All right, what else? Splints. I think it's fine. We can make splints really fast if we had to. What is this? A humble offering to... Oh, it's a book. Um, I mean, we don't have any books, but I think that's okay. We'll take your parchment sheet, though. All right, it's fine. Uh, let's see if you will trade that. Trade. Great. Okay. Um, wonderful. Uh, I think we can now unload. Can I do that? Move goods to fro. Can I? I think they'll just automatically move them once uh, once those guys are gone. So, um, speak, remind it, you know, uh, those, those bins of mugs. I want to make sure that we're getting bins of mugs in here. Or can I set... I just don't understand why this isn't working. Um, I, I still think it's not working here, right? Yeah, we should be storing oh right 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 of course the coffers that's what we need i just talked about that container um we can't put a container there but we can put a container maybe the bar will be like around against this wall actually the bar would probably be against this wall right because we might expand the other direction kind of like that let's put let's put a couple of containers here and nice ones at least one container one container maybe is fine for now. You know what? Maybe we do another another container just for um, instruments. How about that? Great. So I'm going to move those, and then hopefully we can assign them to hold things. Or maybe they'll automatically put things in there. We'll find out. I think we can also put an instrument in here. Did I already do that? I don't think I did. Uh, instrument I, capital I. Oh, I don't have anything I can put in here. So I know that we have nabreths, although maybe it's because all the nabreths are up here, but I think we can actually check that instrument. In musical instruments. Yeah, we definitely have ones that we can y use. Um, stumeb, stumeb. So we actually have some of these. We didn't need to, certainly didn't need to buy them. Those are instruments. Interesting. Um, oh yeah, so all these yellow ones are ones that must be, I don't know. Here are the ones that we can use, that are available. 
I think. Or maybe not. I guess only these are available. Oh, so these... I see. So uh, these include the ones that the humans brought. So, so the Stumabs are not ours. We have a Duthner, but that, that, that's just a Duthner part. We have all these Nabriths and a Duthner part. Hmm. And we still have jobs to make some of those instrument things, right? Duthner. Nabrith. Oh, Seymour. Uh, Seymour. That's right. Well, what is the Duth Duthner thing? Seymour pipes. That must mean that we finish making the other Seymour thing. Huh. Okay. A little confused. So, new order. De oh, man. I can't remember that, what it was called now. What was it called? Um, Z, stocks, musical instruments. I want, like, a nice musical instrument, like a stand-up musical instrument. Because apparently, Nabreths don't count. Duthner. A Duthner. Uh, no. Uh, U, M, new order, Duthner. Make a Duthner. So it's just a one... It's a one... It's just one thing. It's not something you can install, I guess. But I think a Sabrith or whatever... A Samor, I think, is, once we get those pipes. It'll be like an... It must be like an organ-like instrument that we could theoretically put up in our inn. Wouldn't that be nice? Hey, looks like they got some drinks up here. And it looks like they have put the coffers here. And now that they've put the coffers here, um, L, look at that. Stored instruments and goblets. Isn't that great? Now the rented rooms. What can we do about that? Can we set it as a rented room? No, it is assigned. Um... It's available. They are available. I think we just need people to actually use them. And maybe... And let's put some... I didn't know this one didn't have a door. Let's put a door here. It's fine. Um, maybe now... Actually, it looks like you're using this bed. No, I guess not. They're just hanging out in there. Um, are all these bedrooms? Have we already assigned all these as bedrooms? Yes. Hopefully, now that we have goblets and musicians, people will actually stay here overnight. Okay, so this is all mine. Uh, no, not this. Th this. This is, yep, this is all mined out. So let's do an armor workshop or a weapon shop, whatever it's called. Metalsmith Forge. That's what we want. Right, it's. Hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you do have space in between here, right? A little bit. I see. Yeah. But you were against against here. Yeah, I guess we can start just putting them here. We can we can actually have a little space around them. With an anvil. Cool. And make it out of limestone blocks. It's actually, maybe we'll make it out of gabbro blocks. I know gabbro is, um, I think gabbro is lava safe, so I feel like a, a, a smithy would work well. Okay. Uh, any other workshop? What am I missing? An ashery. We need one of those. In fact, we should put one of those. Oh, we need an empty barrel. Okay. I think as soon as we build a barrel, we probably put food in it and drink. So um, pots, I guess, don't work. Or maybe they do. Maybe we just don't have a free one. Actually, that makes sense because we're getting, we're getting spam messages for that. Maybe I should change the pots job to have them make more pots at a time, but I think we're okay. All right, what other workshops don't we have? Um, we don't have millstone or kern, but that's okay. Quern, kern, I don't know how to pronounce it. We don't have a siege workshop, but that's okay. We don't have a farmer's workshop or a dyer's workshop, or we don't need a screw press. Um... Farmer's Workshop, we don't have a ton of animals right now. It's not the most important thing. We might wait on that. Um, but we could maybe do a dyer shop. It would be great. I would love to dye things red, but I don't know what... I know that um, none of the things that you start with um, dye things red. I think they dye things blue or, or green. I can't remember. The um, dimple cups. So if anyone knows what food dyes things red, let me know. Because being the Red River Valley, I, I would love to have a kind of red uniform of everything. 
Um, but other than that, I think... I don't think we need... Uh, an, uh, we want an ashery, but um, we'll just have to wait till we have a free barrel. And then we'll put that ashery up here somewhere. In fact, maybe... Yeah, probably next to... Next to the armory. Maybe. What I would like to do... So this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And you know what? We're probably going to put a glass smelter here as well. I think. Why not? Okay. Someone became a fissure dwarf. Uh, and you know what? With that done, um, now that we actually have some instrument, we have like a working inn that has all of its needs fulfilled. We have jobs to uh, do. actually put an, a, um, a metalsmith down. I think that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, please subscribe, and please leave comments. Uh, if you want to uh, be like um, be like Mr. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I can't remember. Mr. Unlikely, um, let, me, uh, let me know, and we will gladly add you to the list. Um, so I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.